My name is Benjamin Haithcock. I am one of the thoracic surgeons here at, uh, at UNC. I'm the program director for our Integrated Thoracic Surgery Residency Program. It wasn't until I did my surgery rotation that I have any kind of introduction to surgery. And during that time, I was really fascinated with the uh, immediate gratification associated with surgery, with the awesome things that you're able to do, and then being able to help augment people's lives through surgery. I was fortunate to be able to see an open heart procedure when I was a senior and watching the heart was one of the most impactful things I've ever experienced and so being in medical school I kept a really open mind but when I was able to experience everything I realized I just didn't love anything as much as I really loved this part of what cardiothoracic surgery had to offer. I happened to stumble upon this opportunity where one of the congenital cardiac surgeons at a hospital near me was looking for a research assistant for a project um, that she was working on. My third day of working with her, she told me she was doing a heart transplant in a three-week-old baby, and that's when the magic began. I remember sitting outside the operating room, but I could see everything on a very big camera out there. and. The moment that she opened this baby's pericardium, I was like, wow, this is so cool. And she's making such an incredible impact in this baby's life. And that's when I thought, hey, maybe I want to be a heart surgeon one day. My cardiorespiratory block in medical school was very interesting to me and to the point where I thought that I might want to pursue, pursue some summer research in the area, which I did that summer and in which I enjoyed so much that I kind of decided at that point that I, that I wanted to be a heart surgeon. Being able to be a board eligible cardiac and thoracic surgery after six years seems like a daunting task, but there is a process and a method to this. During your first year, you're introduced to the whole field of CT surgery or cardiac and thoracic surgery, um, anatomy, physiology, and everything else. But what's also important is to incorporate that with surgical skills. What's important to of CT surgery or cardiac insurance and tie and, you know, cut tissue and, you know, use instruments both from a standard open approach as well as to minimally invasive approaches as well. What does it look like to saw someone's chest open and trying to make sure that we have different milestones that we accomplished by the end of your first or second year. I have the best intern class um, I could ever imagine. We have the general surgery residents and we have the vascular surgery, plastic surgery all together. And we all have an intern work room where we get to kind of commiserate sometimes and help each other out and talk about our experiences and learn from one another. The faculty here have been outstanding in terms of collaboration and my section of cardiac of thoracic surgery and division of cardiac and thoracic surgery has good folks in it that really, you know, value the um, the model associated with UNC hospitals. We are looking for people who want to be leaders uh, in those areas that are willing to put in some time and effort to, to become really good in whatever domain they chose to pursue. That's really what we hope to foster uh, through the five years of surgical residency and, and surgical clinical training. Learning how to take care of people better, more efficiently, and with improved outcomes, and providing an environment to train the next generation of surgeons and, and physicians. Research is an important part of that. You know, that's the, that, that in many ways is the learning how to do things better, but uh, paying attention to how we do that in the context of taking care of patients uh, and educating people, um, you know, obviously lots of overlap between those three missions. That was one of the huge draws to staying here is the people here are awesome and I already loved working with the anesthesia teams, the OR teams, the residents, the faculty here, and I would get to keep working with them and make that transition with them. And they've been really supportive in that transition, so I feel really lucky. When I got here on my interview day, I really felt like it was somewhere that could be my home. The faculty were so dedicated to educating residents and patients alike and uh, the residents were very supportive of one another in a very authentic and genuine way. And the Chapel Hill community is really unlike anything else. The training here is wonderful. The people are wonderful. You just can't get a better program than this. The beach is about two to three hours away if you wanted to get away. It's very easy to go for just like a day or even a weekend. Um, the mountains, Asheville is like three and a half to four hours away. It's beautiful there. I mean, anything you want, you can, you have access to. I had the privilege to visit the U.S. when I was a final last year med student, uh, and I visited UNC as well. 
and uh, I fell in love with the place, uh, mostly with the culture. I came here with having a stereotype in my mind that chiropractic surgery is associated with intense personalities, competitive individuals. Uh, and I came here and realized that that is not the, the, the case, especially at UNC. I felt welcomed ever since I stepped my foot here. And um, I felt welcome to contribute significantly to patient care. Chapel Hill was a really good place. You have a rally in Durham close by with good restaurants. It's kind of a really nice laid back atmosphere um, outside of residency, which I thought was important to me um, with such a grueling residency program. This is a wonderful place to raise a family. It's a place to have uh, public education that's at the highest level. At the end of their training, many of them are saying, how can I stay in this area? It's just a wonderful place. People recognize that they can fit into this community uh, no matter their background uh, very easily. It's just an academic enlightened place to live. What has kept me here at UNC has been a few things. One has been the uh, culture associated with the University of North Carolina. It's a public institution and therefore UNC Hospitals is also a public institution as well. And with that, we see all breaths of patients from the lower socioeconomic status to the very well-to-do folks. And so I really enjoy the mix of patients that we, we see here at UNC. And with that mix of patients comes a whole mix and plethora of different pathology that we actually have to engage in as well. Um, and so that, that aspect of our patients is extremely important. Yeah, you can have someone talk your ear off about X, Y, and Z, but to be able to illustrate that point in a way that the person you're trying to give that information to gets it, I think is really key.